Okay, you guys, so this is problem 25 of chapter 4 from the section of special cases. So, we're supposed to use a node voltage method to find um, this voltage drop, the voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor, which they have called the V out. So, the special case we're looking at is when a dependent or an independent voltage source is connected to two points, then that point will have won't be a node, or the value of the node will be that point. So in this case, I'm talking about this right here. So remember that a node, an essential node, is a node that connects three, um, three, three circuit elements together. So this is a node, but we don't have to wonder what its value is. It's connected to a four volt independent voltage source, which means if I take and recall that an independent voltage source is a voltage source that can that retains its value no matter what you do, no matter what else is connected with it, it will have that value. So when you take your voltmeter from here to ground, your voltmeter will show 4 volts. So that is helpful because we don't have to have an unknown voltage uh, value here. We only have two nodes where we don't know value, and that's at V out and here, which I, at this node here, which I'm going to call V A. Okay, so now I really only have two nodes that I need to write noble equations for because I already know what this node is. It's 4 volts. So let's start with node, um, the noble equation at V out. So, node voltage at V out. That equation is going to be, and remember that node voltage is an application of uh, KCL. So the sum of all the currents away from the node will be zero. So this is going away. It's defined as positive. So 7 amps plus V out over 3 plus, that's that node right here, so V out. And here I've decided to call that node VA, some unknown um, voltage that I don't know what it is. Um, so that's going to be V out minus VA over 1. All of that has to equal zero by KCL. Now notice that here, I can call this V out because V out is going to be the difference between this node and this node. And this node is zero, so V out minus zero is V out. So that's why I'm okay to call this V out. I'm not okay to call this Vx, even though here's my Vx and it connects to this node. It's because it's the difference between this point and this point. And this point is not a ground point. This point is four volts. So therefore, one of the equations that we have um, that we need because we have three things we don't know, V out, Vx, and Va. We need a third equation, and that third equation is going to come from Vx. So Vx is Va minus 4. Okay? So the second noble equation is at Va. So n node voltage at Va. That equation is, okay, so Va minus 4 over 2. And then this is going to be VA minus V out. That's over um, 1. And then this is a dependent current source and its value is um, controlled by that, that um, resistor. So this is going into the node which means it's minus. So plus minus 2 VX. Minus 2 VX that's going to be equal to zero. Now we have three equations and three unknowns, and so we're going to write a matrix. Um, I am going to erase this because I don't have board space, and that's in order to make my matrix. But you should have it right in front of you. So I have three things, V out, V A, and V X, and that's equal to something. So from equation one, all my coefficients for V out are one third plus one, and I don't have anything else. And all my coefficients for VA is negative one, and my equations for VX is zero. I have no VX in there, so coefficient is zero, and constant is negative seven. That's that equation. On the node voltage at VA, I have um, my coefficients for V out is right here, negative 1. 
my coefficients for VA is going to be this one half, half plus 1, and then my VX is negative 2, and my constant is going to be this right here, this negative 2 brought to the other side, which will give me positive 2. Okay, that's that one. And then, this one I'm going to rewrite with all the variables on one side, so it's going to be the x minus VA is equal to negative 4. Okay, so I have zero occurrences of V out. I have um, negative 1 coefficient for VA and um, positive 1 for VX and negative 4 for constants. Okay, let me double check because so many times I get it right on my paper and then I feel I'll get a typo in the video. So, I guess the best way is for me to do the math and make sure that this matrix will give me the right answers, which I modeled in SPICE. Yeah. Okay, so we need three equations, three unknowns, and one-third plus one, and negative one, zero, negative seven, negative one, one-half, plus 1, negative 2, 2, 0, negative 1, 1, negative 4, solve. And it tells me that V out is 1.5 volts, which is what I had before on paper. And um, VA is 9 volts, which is what I had here. And V sub X is um, 5 volts. And that's it. So. This is, so V out is 1.5 volts, this is 9, 9 volts, and this is 5 volts. And that's the answer to that problem. Okay, don't forget to share the video and like on Facebook if you got some help.